Welcome back to IMCAS TV, 10 Minutes with Dr. Benjamin Asher. Uh, Dr. Asher, you are a plastic surgeon in France, and most notably, you are the founder and director of the IMCAS Congress and the chairman and head of the Clinique of Aesthetic Surgery, Yena, in Paris. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Our, our topic for the next 10 minutes is going to be volumetry. Right. Uh, the obvious first question that I ask you is, what is it? Volumetry, you know, is uh, the science uh, uh, adapted to the situation we lose volume. And we lose volume uh, from the visage as well as the rest of the body, the face, uh, the face and, uh, and, the, and the breast and the buttocks, so many parts of uh, the body. And what purpose does it serve and what are the benefits? Uh, it's much more dedicated to the aging process. Uh, a big part of uh, the persons uh, we are on, on the aging process, they lose volume. And uh, more and more now we know how to treat that. And it's not just the question of uh, to have just a very accurate action on one part of the visage, mm -hmm. but it's a full response for the totality of the visage. A, a total, complete Yes, it's, it, it's a full treatment. And why do we need volumetry when we already have fillers, when we already have toxins? Uh, uh, we need volumetry uh, on the purpose that fillers are uh, at the beginning just dedicated to the wrinkles. And wrinkles are not a disappearing of the fat. Mm -hmm. And concerning the toxins, it's another word. That's the hyperkinetic lines, meaning the lines we can from the muscle. And we know now that the third uh, problem is when you lose the fat, the fat of the visage. So you need to have the good solution for when that. When you're losing the fat, you're losing the volume. Exactly. And the best techniques, in your opinion, for achieving the best results? Uh, we have two. We have two uh, concerning uh, the exogen and non-surgical approach. Uh, we have uh, the fillers and mainly the HA. Mm -hmm. And concerning the other part, uh, we'll be linked to much more to the invasive process, but on a minimal invasive aspect, we have the lipofilling, meaning the fat grafting. The fat grafting. And, and the problems and complications that can arise, and how do we avoid them? A and we spoke earlier about the ballooning effect. If you yes, could yes, talk sure. to us about that. Sure, sure. The ballooning is totally stupid, meaning that you s the, the people think that uh, if they just would like to have just fillers on the purpose of the volumetry, uh, they are going to resolve anything. Uh, it's stupid and, and it's ugly. It's stupid because uh, uh, when you consider the jaw, the jaw is a, a unique sagging. And it's stupid to imagine that you are going to elevate, meaning to resolve uh, the prime of the jaw just with a ballooning from the filler. Right. So the, the people would like just to be treated by the HA, and at the, uh, at, uh, by the end of the story, they are absolutely not natural. And no. It's, and uh, it's uh, not, of course, what we are looking and for. And not attractive. Absolutely. Um, Dr. Asher, volumetry and breasts. Let's yes. talk about yes. that. It, it's, it's a very tricky issue. Uh, number one, now concerning the hyaluronic acid inside the breast, it's banned. So uh, we couldn't do that. And number two, uh, we have now quite a good uh, story from the fat. Uh, fat now. Good, good results coming from story, fat. Story, meaning mm. that at the beginning, you know, it was not so recommended from the scientific societies. The scientists say, no, uh, we have some risk. And we have 10 years of study. And after 10 years, all the scientific studies from Europe say, yes, yes, you can graft the fat inside the breast. And it's something we work. And now we know more and more, and I'm sure that my previous colleagues spoke about that with you. Uh, you, you, we know how to harvest the fat, and we know how to re-inject And fat. knowing more and more uh, as, as time goes by, the innovations and the improvements Absolutely, are, are, and it's a new world, and it's a, a real new world. It's a, and we're it's just a real at revolution the, the dawn it. of this revolution. Absolutely. Um, so but the for the breast, uh, we have solutions. But what are the problems that can arise? Uh, can arise. That can, that can arise. That uh, the possible, okay, the okay. possible What's complications. What's the possibility? What's the possibility? Yes, uh, complication or possibility? The possibilities. Okay, possibilities. And the so uh, you have two main points to resolve. Number one, you have just you know 
um, a lose of the volume. So uh, the most part of the time, you say, okay, let's go to the memory implant. It's not the fact. For, we say, the minimal to, I would say, uh, quite a regular mm. lose of volume, you could go to the fat graft now and not directly to the memory implant. And number two, when you have a ptosis, you resolve for one part with, uh, I would say, a minimal surgery, uh, mainly with uh, uh, not so many scars. Mm. And concerning the upper part of the breast, you graft and you reserve the problem. Can you tell us about uh, cannula and sandwich techniques? And, and in what situations would you employ these methods? One more time, you know, trend is trends. Trend so is we're, a trend. We're, so we are, we are on the trends of the cannula, but I'm not sure that it's something we work for in any part of the visage. What's the good indication? We put the cannula on the medium part of the visage, mm -hmm. as well as the lower part, we say the marionette lines. Right. But well, for instance, now we are back to the regular sharp needle for the orbit. So we are on, on, on going on smart evolution. What's a sandwich? A sandwich is we put two different products, of course, for the same range, uh, on different levels, for instance, for on the medium On different levels part. of... Yes. Of one would be on the deep level, one would be on, I would say, not on the superficial, but medium deep. Right. And with this... Just below the surface of yes. the skin. Yes. And it, it's something we wear because when you combine, you save product, you save money, and you emphasize the quality of the result. And on that, on that uh, subject, what are the hardest areas to inject? The hardest, in my opinion, uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, stay this age because you need to have a very, you know, moderate vision about what you have to env to emphasize. If you, if it's not, it's totally not so fair because it's not so natural. So we have to pay attention to that. And I want to talk about the future. Yes. What are the new innovations in volumetry in terms of the techniques? Yes. And then if you could talk a little bit about the products. Okay. So let's go with the techniques. Okay, uh, techniques, uh, definitely we know better and better uh, that from the HA, uh, we have a very, very innovative product. They are not only product uh, we are going just to be inside uh, the tissue, but they will stimulate uh, the scarring process and emphasize the quality. So they are bioactive, and that's very interesting. Yeah. Number two, more and more, we are going to have a personal vision adapted to the situation. And to the and individual. Yes. So it will be more and more on an individual approach, not only just for marketing, but it's something that's going to work, meaning that adapted to each of each person, we are going to select the product. So it will be a very good challenge. It's really a la carte. A, uh, absolutely. <laughs> and definitely, it's a very good challenge for the future. And, and, and the products. And, and, that, and the, considering the product, uh, we, we, are, we are going to have many different sorts of product adapted to, I would say, any location. Product for the orbit, product for the lips, product for the mid face, product for the chin. So it will be very, very accurate. Is that something we work? Accurate with a lot of options yes. for very specific. Yes, and, and, and the product will be adapted uh, either to the location and easier to the indication. That's something with very, very interesting, Dr. very challenging. Uh, this is fascinating and it's moving at such a fast pace. Absolutely. Um, so I look forward to hearing next year what 2013 will we, bring to volumetry. Thank we, you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you. Thank you.